There's some truth that you're never more than 10 feet away from a spider at any time, but before you go stepping on those spiders, there's probably some things that you should know. There are hundreds and hundreds of species of spiders around the United States, um, from tarantulas all the way down to teeny tiny spiders that are in the grass. Um, they are come in many different families, sizes, shapes. And there are only two out of all those hundreds of species of spiders that are considered medically important. Black widows are found in the United States all the way from Florida to Alaska. There's no place in the United States you can't find widow spiders. Um, in some habitats, in some climates, you'll find them indoors. Uh, around Oklahoma, we tend to find them in garages or in rock walls or in log piles, more in nature than actually in a person's home, which is where a lot of people encounter brown recluses. There have been human deaths in the United States from black widow bites, but it takes weeks to die from a black widow bite, weeks of being in level 10 pain, unable to breathe, unable to move, and still not going to the doctor before your heart will stop beating or you'll stop being able to breathe. The last recorded verifiable human death in the United States from a black widow bite was decades ago, more than 30 years ago. There has never been a human death in the United States from a brown recluse. And so a lot of people in Oklahoma feel terrified around that animal and it is truly harmless. It's very difficult for a brown recluse to even get its fangs into you. It has a different shape of fangs and they work from side to side. So the animal has to be under pressure for him to maneuver his fangs around to be able to inject venom. In the wild, in nature, these guys are found on trees, in log piles, on bark. So when you find them in your home, you usually find them in hot, dry places where things are being stored. Brown recluses are identifiable because they have no hair on their body and they have a very distinctive guitar-shaped marking, but you have to know where to look for it. A lot of people can't, don't know where it is, can't see it right away, and so they assume any brown spider is a brown recluse. And so wolf spiders and jumping spiders and grass spiders all suffer due to misidentification. All spiders are beneficial. All spiders are predators of insects and small mammals and parasites in the environment. They are the balance keepers in nature so that insects don't overpopulate. If spiders in your garden are killing all the pests automatically without you having to do anything. So anytime we disturb the balance in nature, we're gonna end up with other problems that we might not have foreseen. So spiders are super important the way that snakes are important to control mice, the way that wolves are keeping the elk in balance. Every predator has a place in the whole food web and each one of those places is critical and valuable and in balance with all the others. And when humans disturb the balance, we end up paying some price.